And what do you have to say for yourself? Are you looking for adventure? Sure, why not? All right, we're gonna keep going down. I think I wanna stay left here. Yes, I do. I need a little exercise. Sure, we all need a little exercise. Not getting it these days. Cubal Jamal would like the battle. He has a man key out front. I have Sanders because I don't learn my lesson. All right, we're gonna go for a sand attack. Or sorry, not a wing attack, not sand attack. I was just kind of wondering why I still had that actually. Critical hit and down goes the man key. Very nice. Give me not enough experience to be honest. All right, man key again. I will not change. We're gonna keep on hoping that that continues, that that trend just keeps up. All right, go wing attack. Super effective, don't even need a critical. Down goes the man key. Man key is not good at taking a hit. It is not. All right, switching to Machamp. Uh, we will switch here. I'm actually going to bring in Somja. I, I, I think Somja is going to be my best bet here. Well, technically, uh, Mr. Jensi's my best bet, but uh, I want Somja to get a little work in here. Right, we're going to go for a Sleep Powder. Nice, it lands. Right, that's going to make things a lot easier for me. The champ falls asleep and is still asleep. And we're gonna go for Leech Seed as well because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to get some health back because Machamp will eventually hit me. Eventually. We'll just take some of your health right now. That's more than I thought it would be, actually. I'm happy with that. Alright, we'll go for a Razor Leaf. See how much damage that does. As you can see, not all that much, but hopefully with the leech seed and all that, it, it won't take us too long here to take out Machamp. Machamp is is no pushover. Machamp can be quite difficult. Is that gonna be enough? Yes it is! Down goes Machamp. Never stood a chance. Go Sanja. Sanja has needed some work for some time as well. All right, back to Machop. I will switch. Uh, we're gonna bring Bebo back in. Try to get everybody a little bit of work here. I did have a poison move. That would be great, but there aren't too many good ones of those. All right, we will go for a Confuse Ray to start. Once again, Bebo cannot really hold her own against the Machop line. Please hurt yourself. Please, thank you. And wing attack should do good work here. Do not use bite. It's close, it's close. If you hurt yourself again, I win. Pretty sure that'll be it. It goes for foresight, which is useless. Nice job by identifying your one opponent. Down you go. Super effective, but down you go. And we do get, oh, I was hoping that would be enough. Whoa, good workout. Sure. Sure it was. No, wait, wait, wait. Ah, that is a problem. Uh, you can hold B to stop it, for the record, but uh, normally just can go. Come on, I want to talk to you. I want to talk. I'm sure I lost weight there. I'm sure you did, too. Hold on, let me, let me, get, let me get right behind you. There we go. There we go. All right, let's keep going down, and eventually we should find someone else. I thought I would find someone else. There he is. It's further down than I thought he would be. Nice bike. How does it handle? It handles, uh, actually there's a little bit of a delay on it here on the cycling road, but Biker Jackson does not care. He has a wheezing out front, so I do have Mr. Jensi out front yet again. Mr. Jensi too get another level here. Probably not. But uh, Weezing will go down in one shot. Don't mess around with Weezings. Don't mess around with them. Things can go quite bad quite quickly against them. Alright, switch to a muck, so Mr. Gen C is no longer going to be required. We'll have Mr. Uh, nah. Mr. Fuzimi. Yes, Mr. Fuzimi. Hopefully take out the muck. Once again, I do kind of need luck a little bit on my side with the magnitudes for mucks. Magnitude seven's not gonna do it, we have seen it. Well, we were up against a level 33 muck, but yeah, still not gonna do it, still not gonna do it. Minimize, that's 
fine as long as you don't attack and I can hit you with this next shot we'll be fine go magnitude eight please hit thank you down goes the muck if seven did that eight will finish the job down goes the muck you guys should really start attacking a little bit earlier not a thousand why not all right down goes Jackson shoot and sure shoot we'll go with that what do you have to say? The slope makes it hard to steer. Indeed it does. I'm glad I'm not alone on that. With this side done, let's head up. This could actually take a while, but I'll go the new path here. We'll at least see what these signs say. Route 17, Celadon City to Fuchsia City. Good to hear. Trainer tips, press the B button to stay in place while on a slope. I already knew that. I showed that off and everything. Trainer tips, all Pokemon are unique. Even Pokemon of the same species and level grow at different rates. I have not always seen that, uh, but I assume they know what they're talking about. I, I haven't seen that though. It's a notice, watch out for discarded items. We will eventually. It's kind of a long journey up here, but it will be worth it because we will get more battles with bikers along the way. Come on, I wanna fight you. Right there, there. There we go. Let Voltorb electrify you! Really, if you don't know how to use your Voltorb, I'm going to expect things are going to go my way. Level 29 Voltorb, meet level 29 Fuzimi. Now, I think Voltorb will be faster than me, which will be bad. No, Fuzimi is faster! Should be able to one-shot the Voltorb here. It could have been bad if Voltorb went first and instantly went for some kind of self-destruct. That could have been bad, but it did not happen. So things are working out well for me. More speed. Always more speed. Hey, look, a Voltorb. So if I was faster than the last one, I should definitely be faster than this one. Uh, oh, they must be talking about IV values instead of, or EV values instead of IV values. That must be what they're talking about. That one sign. I'll talk more about that as we continue. That's something that bothers me somewhat, but for the time being, just know that it's better to uh, use your Pokemon than to give it rare candies or destroy it in the daycare center, even though it's the same level. Ground it out! That's, that's the short, that's the short summary of it. And what do you have to say for yourself? I got my Voltorb at the abandoned power plant. We have not been there. I have no idea what you're talking about. But we did find this guy. I leveled up my Pokemon, but it won't evolve. Why? Uh, as you find out, it is because he uh, never traded it. Uh, Cue Ball Zeke would like to battle. They spelled Zeke wrong, but what are you gonna do? He has a Machoke. This is the middle evolution of the Machop line. Uh, it doesn't matter how much he evolve or how much he levels up his Machoke. It will not evolve unless he trades it. Uh, what usually happens, or at least what we did as kids, was we would trade Machoke for Machoke and then trade it back. Or, you know, just that way we would get the trade evolution and then we'd have our original Pokemon back. That's what we would do. Uh, not always Machoke for Machoke, but, you know, we would use the trade system that way. Uh, we would trade and then just trade back immediately. And it hurt itself in its confusion. Good, things are going well. Bebo, you're holding your own for the time being. Go for wing attack. Please do not let it hit you once again. Uh, I assume seismic toss is going to be its best, best move. Like that. Which is not good for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal. I hate doing it in battle, but it is needed here. Bebo. I don't want you to die. All right, it, it doesn't go for, no, it goes for vital throw. Not nearly as effective. All right, we're gonna pretty much start over again, go for confuse ray. It should land 100% accuracy. That makes it so good, so good. And Machoke is confused again. Foresight will not help you, my friend. Honestly, I don't know what Foresight does. I, I should look into that. I, I know I don't like it, and it never seems to do anything. It might increase their accuracy a bit, but not like a noticeable amount. Hey, look, it hurt itself, and therefore I win. I win. Down goes Machoke. 
Good luck evolving it. I hope you have like a, a friend and like a link cable because that's what you need. The original version of the game actually had two Game Boys and a link cable all to myself, so I didn't even need a friend. That was just that cool. Looking back, it was kind of sad, actually. Why you? Give me your money. I will take it. No. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Maybe some Pokemon need element stones to evolve. That is true, but there is no such thing as a fighting stone. Right, we're gonna hang out here, right down where there is another guy. Be a rebel. I don't want to be a rebel. Does that make me more rebellious than you or less? All right, Cory would like to battle. He has Primeape out front. I stuck with Bebo, hoping for the best. I'm just gonna go for, you now let's go for the Confuse, right? It goes for Focus Energy. So hopefully it like crits on itself. I don't think you can get a critical hit yourself in your own confusion. I don't think that's possible. That'd be awesome though. Well, for me, because it's not happening to me. It's confused. Best thing that I can do is Seismic Toss. It goes for Fury Swipes, but it misses. Actually, I think that's a normal move, isn't it? That could be bad for me. That could have killed Bebo, actually. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Seismic Toss. That's not too bad. 29 damage. Wing Attack will finish you off, though, I believe. Down goes Primeape. I'm playing it. Whoa. A little sketchy with Bebo. Almost lost him there if that Fury Swipes hit, probably. All right, about to change to McChoke. I will switch. We'll go with Samja. Samja still needs a little bit of work. Samja is not as high level as I would like. So we are going to go for, uh, we'll go for Sleep Powder first. Hopefully that lands. It does. I've been monkey with Sleep Powders today. They're going well. Fast asleep still. Go for the leech seed. Seeded with choke. Nicely done. Are you kidding me? You woke up already? He goes for four sight. You know, I'm not going to bother trying to put him to sleep again. I've been a little bit too lucky with that, and I feel like I'm going to miss quite a few in a row after this. So let's go with Razor Leaf. And hope for the best. Critical hit. That was indeed the best. All right, goes for Revenge. Hmm. Okay, not very effective. Oh, I was worried about that one. I was worried. But once again, I am mistaking that for something else. All right, we'll finish you off with a Tackle. I can't believe my song is faster than you. It's like a freaking dinosaur with a plant on its back. And it is faster than you would think it would be. And down goes Gari. Arg! Arg indeed. He became a pirate. Like, as a result of that battle, I guess. Everything to say for yourself. Be ready to fight for your beliefs. What beliefs? We will continue on, though, and drop all the way down. I don't... Actually, I think we want to go all the way down, but we'll check this here. It's a notice. Don't throw the game. Throw Pokeballs instead. What does that even mean? Don't throw the game? I don't, I don't get it. All right. Last guy, though. Down here. Get lost, kid. I'm bushed. I imagine he might be, considering he probably had to fight his way all the way down here. Barker, Biker William would like to battle. He has lots and lots of coughings and wheezings. So I have Mr. Gen C. How many do you have left? Ten. I'm only going to need five. Because I seriously doubt Mr. Gen C is going to not one-shot any of these guys. That's just how good and how much faith I have in Mr. Gen C. Hey, look, a wheezing. I'm still assuming that things are going to work out well for me here with the psychic. Just don't take any... Wait, level 25? Can you even be a level 25 easy? Don't take any risks with coughing and wheezing. Never. Just assume that they will automatically self-destruct as soon as they come into the battle. So bring in something that can one-shot them. I highly recommend the Abra line. Kadabra will absolutely wreck it. As you can see, especially considering that I still have an Abra and I'm wrecking. Imagine what a Kadabra or an Alakazam could do. It just 
as soon as it evolves into Kadabra, trade it and get yourself an Alakazam. You can get some good stats. Some damn good stats. All right, down goes the coughing. Another level for Mr. Jensen. Mr. Jensen is kicking all kinds of ass up to level 35. I will take it. Two and two. That's really all I care about is special attack and speed. Those are really the only things that I care about with Mr. Jensen because everything else uh, doesn't necessarily matter as long as Mr. Jensen one-shots everything. And Mr. Jensen is one-shotting everything. And down it goes. And down goes Biker William. Are you satisfied? Actually, yeah. That was good for me. And what do you have to say for yourself? I need to catch a few Z's. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, we will continue on though, all the way to the bottom. Slope ends here. Does, is that all it says? It might have said something else, hold on. No, damn it. Ah, uh, turning is so hard in this game. All right, like there, there we go. Cycling road, slope ends here, cycling road, slope ends here. All right, that is all it says. All right, now we have made it to route 18. Cycling road, no pedestrians permitted. And we have made it. Cycling road is all uphill from here. That's why we can fly. Fly is going to be so useful for us as we continue on. Well, it's already useful now. I'm looking for the Pokemon Slowbro. Want to trade one for my Lickitung. Now, I do not recommend Lickitung. Uh, Lickitung is not that great of a Pokemon. If I remember right, it's a normal type that does learn a couple psychic moves, but can't really do anything with it. Uh, but this is the only way to get a uh, Licky Tongue. It is definitely not as good as a Slowbro. Uh, if you are playing Fire Red, uh, this kid wants a Golduck. Once again, I would recommend the Golduck over the two. Uh, so really, only if you're trying to get all the uh, Pokemon in the game would I recommend trading for that Licky Tongue. Ah, uh, oh well. Yeah, sorry, man. Just have a better one to trade or ask for something worse. And we have made it to Fuchsia City, and also Route 18, where there are a couple more trainers, I believe, and more Pokemon to catch, but we have made it to Fuchsia City. Uh, we are not done, however, with Cycling Road. We will be back to uh, try to uh, get all the hidden items and possibly catch a new Pokemon. I do believe that uh, that is considered Route 17 there on Cycling Road, so new route. We will, we will try to catch a new Pokemon there. But we will do that next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by Dumpus and his really one-sided Pokemon team of Mr. Jensi and friends. Uh, his friends being Bebo, Rumpus, Samja Sanders, and Fuzimi today. When we come back, I'll probably be back in Celadon City. I'll just fly there and... We'll take on Cycling Road probably a couple more times. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.